I heard that you are a puppet major. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. that? A puppet major? Yeah. Well, I go to this place called a university and they teach people degrees. So I gave money to this institution to learn everything about puppetry. Hmm. Yep. Making them, manipulating them, directing them, even writing the little shows. Since you do all that, mm -hmm. have you personally built a puppet? I have, yeah, I've built a couple of them. What are, what are they? I've built a marionette, a oh. hand and rod puppet, and a shadow puppet. Cool, cool. Yeah, and some um, masks. Ooh, you said something about directing shows too. Mm hmm What kind of shows? Well, I'm currently working on a show with humans, not puppets. I'm oh. um, directing that, but with class, we direct a lot of little skits. So that's those those ones are fun and. Not as serious. Yeah, I yeah. imagine. So this degree, mm -hmm. this program, it sounds like there's a lot of both performance and technical. Is that right? That is right. Yeah, it's one of the only majors here at WVU that deals with both manipulation, uh, performance side, and also creating the puppets, which I think is really valuable because we, I built puppets before manipulating them, and through manipulating, I see that I didn't really make that great of puppets. Oh. I, they, they could have been made better, yeah. What would you say a good to manipulate puppet is? Well, they're all different. So with the marionette, I'd say I, I've learned through using other marionettes where like the strings are more comfortable, where I know to get uh, the most movement out of it. And with like the hand and mouth puppet, like I have this huge mouth plate. And oh. so after I built the whole thing, I realized that I could have like, so the puppet talks like this, not like this, oh. it talks like this. And so to have something holding your thumb to the bottom mouth plate is very beneficial to be able to move this with like minimal effort. And you say that you got to build these. Was that a class or a project or? Yeah, I built them in class. So we have the puppet building class. And then also through work study, I have helped build a lot of the marionettes for, like I've painted all the faces on the um, little Goldilocks and Red Riding Hood show. Oh, wow. Yeah. And is that special to this university that you are attending? I think so. I, I mean, I don't, I, I've done no research into the other puppetry program that is in, what did it say, Connecticut? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I know nothing about it, so, but I know that we haven't had marionettes here and I think Mary said something like the last 50 years or so, so oh. I kind of doubt that the other one has anything with marionettes, so I think that's, I think that's special. So, what would you recommend doing with all of this experience you've gotten? Well, the great thing about learning so much is that I'm learning so many practical skills that are transferable to so many aspects of theater, like, like I said, you know, directing and creating and w through the degree we have to take classes in lighting and, you know, um, stagecraft, costuming, so there's a lot of those aspects come into play with puppetry and yeah. it's really valuable knowledge that I could take anywhere and also teach too, that's another thing. All right, what do you think you're going to do? Uh, whatever someone will pay me to do, <laughs> so. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> <laughs>
few weeks ago, like um, like 2018 uh, oh. and such. And then it just started growing and here I am. So how did you choose the West Virginia University program specifically? Well, I took a look at it and I was very impressed with the stuff they had to show off of the program. I love to see the puppets that they showed and the videos they had. And they even had a video where um, Kevin Clash, the one of the performers of Elmo from Sesame Street, yeah. He came to visit the school to discuss the program with the Elmo with puppet with him. So I was very excited to see that. I was like, ah, that's that's the place. That's the place I gotta go. You know. Um, what would you have to say to others who are trying to get into puppetry? Like, resources? Resources. But when it comes to resources, you know, you just gotta do your research. If you wanna make a puppet, it's very easy. You can even start off with a simple sock puppet and just practice your lip sync and your manipulation skills. Ooh. That's a great way to start. Make some make some videos, you know, have some fun with it. Do a lot of lip syncing. That's what I like to do. I put on music and lip sync a character to a song. And that's kind of how I practice and get into that puppetry vibe. You know, that's what I recommend. What is your puppetry vibe like? Very fun, zany, creative. You definitely gotta put a lot of creativity into it because it's it's a very creative art style. You really have to be able to bring the puppet to life in a way. So you gotta use a lot of your imagination. So the brain plays a big part into that. Okay now, so what exactly interests you in the puppetry art? Um, I think what really interested me in the puppetry arts is, um, it's another aspect of theater. It's very important too, to theater. There's a lot of historical significance with it, the staging. Um, and honestly, I love children's theater the most. So I think that's what really drew me to it. Okay, and, and how exactly would you describe the art of puppetry? I would say the art of puppetry is bringing life into things that you wouldn't expect. So quite literally embodying a character versus just playing it, where you really have to just put it all out there. Okay. And uh, what exactly, what started you in the puppet arts? Um, so I definitely say a lot of Jim Henson's work, uh, like, you know, Muppets, Sesame Street, Emmett Otter, that kind of stuff. Um, but what really got me here too is also my sister. Um, she helped, did like kind of what I do in the puppetry program now and did a lot of the performance end of it. Um, I think that's really what got me here. Okay, and would you like to continue in the puppetry art? Oh my gosh, yes, 100%. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So now, now tell me, what, what do you like the most about doing puppets? Um, I think figuring out the different ways to manipulate different ways to really show emotion with them because you you can only have so much range with depending on the type of puppetry you are using especially like object puppetry that one's kind of hard because like you know sometimes you just have a pencil and you have to like make it into something and you know mm -hmm. so you mentioned uh different styles of puppetry what is your favorite style i think my favorite is honestly um I have to say classic cannon rod puppets. They're my favorite. They... Okay. So why exactly did you choose WVU for college? Um, I mainly came here because my sister. Um, mm. But also, aside from that, like it's a really good program with the theater and dance department. And okay. especially the fact of how much, you know, they meld puppetry into theater and all that kind of stuff. I love how multifaceted it is. Oh, yeah. What is your favorite part of the theater school? Um, I really love how a lot of the stuff is student run. So we have like lab theater or advanced directing. Um, even Puppet Palooza is a lot of just students creating skits and um, directing. Now, what are your plans for once you've graduated? Um, so I hope to be able to act and puppeteer in, you know, all different kinds of things. I already do some um, amusement park work and mascot work. Right. And um, that's really fun. Um, but like end goal is to open my own um, theater and to be able to like be equity or non-equity, but like paying people, um, but specifically for um, people with disabilities or that are on the autism spectrum. Oh. 
Okay, so I hear you are a puppetry major, yes? Mm -hmm. So what exactly got you into doing puppetry? Really, it all started when I was three. Hmm. By that point, I had already been introduced to Sesame Street, where I used to live. The thing is, is that I didn't start speaking until I was like three and a half years old. Hmm. And Sesame Street actually helped me learn how to speak, so I gotta give them props for that. Then something interesting happened. When I was either four or five, I started doing impressions of characters that I've seen on TV. And for like a five-year-old, I was doing a fantastic job. Hmm. So what made you want to pursue puppetry as a career opportunity? Really, I wanted to hop on board Sesame Street ever since I first saw it. And what intrigues you the most about the puppetry? What's your favorite thing to do with it? One of my personal favorite things to do with puppetry is something that I actually taught myself when I was seven. Teaching myself how to lip sync. Mm. What I did was I saw footage from uh, current Muppet captain of Sesame Street, Matt Vogel, and how he lip syncs and performs, and I, and I like learned from him and his footage. And what is something you think is very special about puppetry? What I think is special about puppetry, especially in the case of the Muppets, is that it can open the gateway to do stuff that you can't really do with live action. You can immerse your audience into, into like all these amazing into like all these different amazing worlds with puppetry. You could do that with like live actors, but there's something, there's a certain charm to puppetry that just can't be duplicated. Hmm. 